Okay, so hey, this is for everyone, but really it's for you if you're looking to incorporate uh, these chi coils for yourself or loved ones. Maybe you want uh, to use it as a practitioner and uh, help others in, in you know creating a business out of it and having your own practice or being an affiliate or for whatever reason. And you want to incorporate chi coils with other healing modalities or you want to, maybe you're a, a practitioner and you want to enhance that and you want to manifest better health. We all do, right? Or you're navigating cancer or really any health condition. And honestly, this, this is for manifesting anything. Today, we're focusing on health and cancer. And I love some of these notes. Thank you. TV's late stage cancer diagnosis and search for healing and more information recently purchased a basic unit PMF Rife machine, hoping and praying this will help me as I'm on a very limited budget. A lot of friends and family hopeful as well. Well, we are hopeful for you as well and send you love. This time I just have a nano chi coil wanting to learn more about everything. I'm so excited for all these interest in chi coil later wanting to invest in larger coils for my business yes um he, i believe joy is asking will we have access to post recording i believe so and you're also simone's a counselor and used for myself and family how you know if you use it on others there's no way you're not going to use it for yourself right and a practitioner as well and yes to everything and your pets right which i saw the new frequencies came out super exciting all right so before we get started, of course, there's a disclaimer because, you know, this is for your information only for educational purposes. It's not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA and cheap coil products are not a substitute for professional medical advice. So always consult with your healthcare provider for any medical concerns. Of course. Now... Again, what we'll do today, we're, it's going to be really exciting because uh, we'll, I'll just talk a little bit about my background. I'll talk about programs available with this system that I use that directly relate to cancer. And actually, there's more programs than you realize that will help with can uh, cancer. And I'll explain all about that. Then I'll show you how I use them uh, by taking you on a meditation. You get to sample the chi coil in an energy passive meditation that I'll facilitate here today for your health. How's that sound? Give me a, like a little one if you're here and ready to put away your distractions and really uh, get the most out of this. I hope it's going to be life-changing for you today. And uh, I work with people from all over the world and how you pronounce my name, uh, Galit, Galit Rubin. I live in Ojai, California. And I'm a spiritual manifestation coach and healer. I use quantum healing, um, healing modalities such as uh, reconnective healing, intuitive healing. Now, I work with clients in all areas from money, health, including cancer, because I'm a lifelong learner of spirituality and I love learning about the health and wellness world. I'm also a certified magnetic mind method coach where I currently facilitate uh, weekly sessions for its founder one-on-ones for my own clients and so much more. And it's not enough to list, but really I enhance all my work now with the Chi Coil Max system that I, uh, I have now and that's what I will use. So that's what I have is the Max system. I do them in person and remote. And as soon as I got this, I, for some reason, had back pain and I never have back pain. But somehow, as if the world, the universe needed to show me how these work directly to instill proof <laughs> and my belief, it gave me a nice backache the day they arrived. I plugged them in, I found a frequency, back pain, I turned them on, I put them on my back as I sat in the chair, and within minutes, the back pain was gone. 
I could not believe how fast it worked. Then I offered some of my friends and 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 uh, I even posted on social media, hey, anybody who have anything they want work done? And all these posts came in. And of course, everyone pretty much reported feeling shifted. It's incredible. And I don't need to tell you about all the testimonials because you can find them. They're everywhere. You currently had the most unbearable back pain now in the last few months. I'm so, so sorry. Um, but perhaps you're in the right place. We have to believe, right? There's something called, you know that there is the placebo effect, but did you know that there's also a nocebo effect? It's, it's a real thing. So just have belief that anything can change. But being a manifestation coach changed my life. And I live and breathe this work. And before I learned the correct way to manifest, my own health was deteriorating. I had adrenal fatigue. I suffered from chronic stress for years. And I was beginning to really get drained, fatigued. There was just no way out. I felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders. And now I'm showing this because I really do live the best life. As you can see, I love the outdoors. <laughs> And I have a 22-year-old son there. His name is Quinn. He's a musician. That's my husband and I. We love to travel. My, my husband is on the lower. And my mentor, Chris Duncan, is uh, one of my great mentors that changed my life, is there on top, who uh, I work with and learned a lot about manifestation through him. Now, this is my, my weekly work looks like this. I sit on Zoom. And I take on clients through energy sessions and energy healing and manifestation uh, healing where we shift their resistance. And I love doing this work, but I've been waiting for more. I've been waiting. My dream was to create a meditation program that incorporates my energy work with frequencies. So after learning more about people like Nikola Tesla and Royal Rife. I was looking for a machine. I knew that there was something out there. I looked into Rife machines like you, TV. I was looking into all these things. Who said that they were looking at Rife? Is that you? But I was waiting and finally I found it because I came across the cheek coils and immediately I knew that this is what I was waiting for to incorporate into my quantum healing business and coaching work. Now, what I did, I just recently launched my meditation program for women. And these are some of my 12 founding members. Two of them are cancer patients. And we're on week run of the uh, week nine of the first run and of 12, there's going to be 12 weeks. And it's like years of therapy in 12 weeks. And the results are endless of how you can incorporate these frequencies, these coils, these programs to help yourself and others. As we said, this is just one way. I love creating change with them. And here are some of the coaching and reviews that people are saying, I'm stronger, I can do more with longer time. Obviously there's some people who have some health issues in this program, struggling with major pain. And I've also run events through the chakra program in this um, with these coils and people just say, wow, I, I loved it. And I felt energy and vibrating vibration going through each chakra in my body, even if it wasn't live. It works in replay. Thank you so much. And stronger. Here's uh, someone who says I had pains that went away while my shoulder hurt less than it has in two days. Here's, uh, this is a regular client. Uh, her husband had stage four cancer where I took sessions with him and I ran frequencies for him and they just celebrated being cancer free. So we're so excited for the change that as you can see that anything is possible. This is the future of healing, right? Or I can't say healing, can I? The future of medicine maybe. <laughs> so my goal for you today is to show you how you can incorporate these in your life 
and you'll get to, to participate. But what I really want to do is notice, show you how you feel before and after the meditation using the coils. And also, perhaps if you want to stay around with us, you can learn more about a program that we're launching that creates tailored programs, how to use them remotely, how to incorporate the right mindset. So we're excited for that and we'll share that with you. So Change Your Frequency, Change Your Life was originally coined by Wayne Dra Dyer, I think. But we think he probably got that from Albert Einstein, right? Everything is, yeah, Rick says we are frequency. Everything is energy, frequency and vibration. And if that's the case, you know that your physical body is also nothing rests. When I was young, my father sat me down on a chair and explained to me that the chair I was sitting on was not solid. I grew up in Israel, but my dad immigrated from India. So he used to go to healers and psychics and Ayurvedic doctors. So alternative energy was just a form and forms of healing were not foreign to me. They're just a part of my childhood. And you're probably here because you already know this is true. This isn't foreign to you that everything, nothing is solid, including us. But your thoughts, they're also a form of energy, aren't they? What about your emotions? They're a form of energy also, aren't they? So this is Manifestation 101, isn't it? You're probably thinking, well, this is common information. We already know. But truly, we don't realize just how your thoughts and emotions attract your experiences in everyday life. What about cancer? How is cancer attracted? How did I attract cancer? This isn't my fault. It's the environment. It's genetics. Cancer runs in my family. Of course, not intentionally. But as a manifestation coach, what I do know is that there's no on-off switch to attracting with your focus, to attract with your emotions, and to attract with your thoughts. You attract when you focus on what you want to attract for a few minutes. Like you're saying, oh, I want health. I would love health. And then or you meditate or you say your mantras, but then you go about your day and not even notice what you're attracting on autopilot because we are programmed to live in negative orientation. And I'll explain more about that. Who understands that? Who believes that this is true? That... There's thoughts that we're not even aware of and that we're attracting with those thoughts right now. But the good news is that your body is a mirac miraculous healing system, immune system. So true. Yeah. And who believes that your body has the ability to heal itself? Because the immune system is a highly coordinated defense mechanism that protects the body from infections and disease. And it involves innate response and a more targeted adaptive response, both of which are essential for keeping your body healthy, right? All true. Okay. So what does a healthy immune system look like? What's it able to do? This is a very simplified version when it comes to cancer, but between your body's own cells and foreign cells, you know, cells that your body produces and cells that are foreign, we have natural killer cells. These cells, they target and destroy like a video game, like Pac-Man, infected and cancerous cells by introducing uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. So I'll just say cell death, if that's okay. Cytoxic T cells, they destroy infected or cancerous cells directly. That's, that's a very simplified version. We all get bombarded with cancerous cells all right, right now, with toxins, right? And is it possible to just make sure that your microphone is turned to mute? Because I, I, sometimes I hear a little disturbance. Thank you. Now, here's a perfect example of the body healing itself, given the right conditions. What about a cut finger? The body responds to heal the wound. 
And you could assist the body by keeping it clean. Maybe you wrap it. Maybe you refrain from aggravating, right? You provided the right condition. The body will do the rest. Do you know what heal means? It re I recently found this out, that heal means to become whole. Who knew this? How come I didn't know this? Is it just me? Heal means to become whole. Mind blown. So we can also create unfavorable conditions, can't we? From the environment, like we said, toxic air, pollutants, chemicals. It's all around us. We know this. And then we have our internal uh, environment, what we eat, what we ingest, the water, cosmetics on our skin, genetics were passed down. Okay. Well, you... listen to this or not? It's up to you. Uh, are we able to, um, I didn't hear, it. was that directed at me or can we mute? Let me check. I can't, I wasn't able to mute. So let me see if there's anyone I can mute. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Uh, and we can also create then favorable environments. We have the power to change so much. We are not victims. We can take our power back to create the correct conditions to alter pretty much all of these circumstances. We don't have to be victims of any past creations. We can create new because our cells regenerate, right? And what does epigenetics mean? Do you know what it means? It means above mind. So we can change our external environment. Maybe we can get some air purifiers. Maybe we can avoid pollutants and avoid toxic chemicals. And we can educate ourselves on what you know, products to use and what not to use, what to eat and what to avoid, what to put on our body and what to say, no, I'm not putting that on my skin anymore. And you know, what, how clean our water is. We do have some power, but the most power we have here as well is epigenetics. And epigenetics is basically a study that, a study of changes in gene expressions without alter, underlying altering the DNA sequence. Because if you say that it runs in your family and it's in your DNA, well, luckily you can change it. You can go above and change your lifestyle, environment factors, and even busy psychological states can influence health and well-being. And here are some ways it can be utilized in healing. Diet, nutrition, exercise, stress management, sleep, environmental toxins. I, I'm going to read these off, but the reason I put these here is I want to ask you, and I really want your participation here, take a look at this list and how many of these do you think cheat coil addresses? And this is really interesting, intergenerational healing. I happen to do this through family constellation practice in my work because it's been studied that we carry ancestral wounds and trauma up to seven generations deep. So it's a combination of creating the right conditions by taking the right steps and the whole body system. And chi coils can do pretty much most of these. I mean, it can't ingest your food for you, but it can sure provide you with some uh, detoxing, some emotional healing, some sleep help, some stress management, some uh, assistant with your energy levels and, and rejuvenation for your exercise and some um, supplementing, right? So much can be done with these coils. I'm so excited. That's why I'm so excited about them, What, how broad their use is. Now, what is manifestation in creating positive thoughts? Is it positive thinking? It absolutely is not. Did you know that? The positive thinking movement can actually cause harm to your health. Who knew? It's not about positive thinking. But 
this work creates positive thoughts, creates uplifted mood. And I'll explain why this is so important. It's emotional intelligence, okay? Emotional intelligence. This, who can say this really fast three times? Psychoneural immunology. Psychoneural immunology, also known as PNI or PENI. It's been known since the 80s that emotions and immune functions are directly linked. And I want to ask you, when was the last time a doctor that you know, that doesn't specialize in any kind of psychology, asked you about your emotions. In fact, medicine is more fractured than ever. We have an oncologist, a cardiologist, a proctologist, a renal specialist, a neurologist. And while it's great that these doctors and, and are specialists in certain body systems, but they don't realize that everything is connected. Of course, in the Western world, they're not really connecting an entire body system that works together synergistically anymore. Who agrees with that? They just treat the part, not the source or the whole being. Do you guys agree? So I want to show you this in a great example through the animal kingdom. Okay. How do our emotions play a vital role? This is a great way to explain it. And that is, I mean, we were mammals, right? Here is a pack of, I think these are impalas, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. Now, when prey is sensed nearby, we are built for survival, all of us. We have systems in place built for survival, such as our immune system, such as our fight or flight response system. So when a prey is nearby and it's sensed, what do the impalas do? They run for their lives. And what happens is their fight or flight response kicks in subconsciously. It's automated. They don't have to go, unconscious, please turn on my shields. They literally just run. And at the same time, all the functions of the body, they get suppressed. That's what fight or flight does. So it, so it, you can utilize your energy into running. So most of the body shuts down. So all the focus could be on surviving this immediate danger. Okay. And that signals to the herd, immediate, immediate danger is near. And unfortunately, the law of the land is that one will likely get caught. Correct? That's just how it works. And what happens is that signals to the rest of the herd that the immediate danger is past. The, the cheetah or the tiger or whatever isn't hungry anymore. It has food. And so what happens? This is what happens in an emotional intelligence system. During the fight or flight response in the animals, the immune system initially is heightened to prepare for potential injury. injury. However, as the response continues, stress hormones like cortisol begin to suppress immune functions. I said this already. To conserve energy and for immediate survival, why this is adaptive in the short term, once the danger has passed, immune function normalizes in a normal system. And this is where we can touch on intergenerational healing. Remember what that slide said? Let's imagine that this pack's ancestors were grazing long ago in a new section they've never been to before in the, I don't know, what is this, a savanna? Savanna. And because they've never, maybe they've never encountered this type of predator before, would it be wise to code in that information it learned in the DNA that helps future offspring to survive? to flee from this type of danger in the future, right? Imagine that that could be very useful to their offspring to pass that information down through the DNA. Now imagine what your ancestors may have experienced as far back as seven generations deep, world wars, uh, what is that? Persecution, famine, feuds, you name it. If you think about your ancestors, your mother, your father, if you know where they came from and what happened in the area of the world they lived in or stories you may have heard. So we're equipped with many reasons to fear and worry, 
but a lot of those are outdated. Some are not. Yet we were, we don't need so much to survive. We're ready to thrive in this up leveling of consciousness. Don't you agree? Who's ready to stop surviving and ready to thrive? Can I ask, uh, how's it going so far? You guys with me? Everything good? Most, if not all, I agree. So this is what happens to a suppressed immune system. Although it's traumatic of what just happened to this herd of impalas, their systems do return to homeostasis. And this isn't to discount any traumatic experience whatsoever, because I come with many of my own from my abusive childhood. This is to just make a very simple point that with a proper immune function, the body returns to normal. And when not, it can stay in fight or flight. So moving on, the key, as I said, is emotional intelligence. All human emotions are useful, including anger, including rage, shame, envy, regret. We come with an array of emotions and they are all useful in the right place and the right time. Okay, these are just some examples. Here's a perfect example for in the animal kingdom of how rage can be useful. Can you blame mama bear for having rage if you come across her and her cubs? No, mama, right. it's for survival, right? This, that totally makes sense. Built in for survival. It's very useful in this case. How about this one? <laughs> is this useful? Because what happens is when our emotions get scrambled, we can have a takeover experience. Who's done this before and then said something like, oh my God, I don't know what just came over me. I, I felt so out of control with my emotions. Hmm? Who's done that? None of you would have, right? None of you would do this. But the studies are mounting that PNI is directly linked to cancers. I'm going to turn my fan on. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. And the studies are, show that, for example, breast cancer, I'm just going to read from a list right now. Breast cancer is related to, it says stress, stress and depression and lack of social support have been associated with poor outcomes in breast cancer patients. Research suggests that chronic stress may suppress the immune system, potentially affecting cancer progression. All right, co uh, colorectal, that's basically both colon and rectal cancer, which are both similar to breast cancer, stress the, in, in the symptoms uh, or the causation relation. Uh, that stress and depression have been linked to worse outcomes in this kind of cancer. Patients, um, well, PNI research suggests that stress might influence tumor growth by affecting immune function. Let's go to ovarian. Studies have shown that chronic stress can lead to an increase in tumor growth and spread in ovarian cancer patients, possibly due to its impact on the immune response. Lung cancer research indicates that stress and poor mental health might negatively influence the prognosis of lung cancer patients, potentially due to stress-related immune suppression. Prostate, chronic stress, and anxiety have been associated with worse outcomes in prostate cancer, and PNI research suggests that these factors might affect immune surveillance of cancer cells. And melanoma, uh, stress and negative emotions, states that have been linked to poor outcomes in melanoma patients, possibly due to stress-induced immune suppression. So if you're being treated for cancer, ha have anybody asked you about your emotions? Probably not. Look at all these other ailments linked to PNI. If you have been dealing with any of these and gone to the doctor, did they ask you about your emotions? Probably not. They just said, put this on it, take this. We have seen some amazing, miraculous things using this energy work and these coils. So I'm telling you there's a lot of hope. And so how do you go from stuck, suppressed, repressed, emotional to emotional intelligence? 
while manifesting the right conditions for thriving instead of surviving. You guys may have seen this already. Okay, this is the future of medicine. The future is frequency based. And for the medical industry that might be trying to suppress this, tell them not to worry. Unfortunately, there's enough cancer to go around for everyone. So whoever wants to can come over here and incorporate this into their lives. And look, it's on sale. And I'm not going to give you the link right now, but I can at the end if you wish, or someone can put that in. Here are the programs. There are tons of testimonials about this program, so I don't need to list them here. However, in my opinion, you must combine emotional intelligence programs with the cancer programs. So I've created an amazing general program. I also create personal programs for my clients, depending on their background and upbringing. So we can manifest emotional health along with the amazing cancer conqueror frequencies that go directly to destroy. Who likes the sounds of that? How are you guys doing? I see, you. I see you're still here. No one's left me. I'm not just talking to myself. Thanks, Connie. Good to see you. I'm just seeing a bunch of your names pop up. <laughs> All right. So it's not, I, this is really going to get interesting. So I want everyone's attention if, if you're able. So there's going to, there's going to be some coloring too. See, isn't it getting really pretty? <laughs> I want to explain how the unconscious and conscious work together. It's really important. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Simone. Thanks, James. Thanks, Julia. I really appreciate your little participation, Ricky. Okay, uh, Rick, sorry. So who, it's important to understand how it all fits together with higher levels of consciousness and energy healing. So let's start with the human journey. First and foremost, you're an energy being. There's this amazing book by Dr. Michael Newton. I don't know who's read it. It's called The Journey of Souls. And it changed my life, Journey of Souls by my, Dr. Michael Newton. So he's a hypnotherapist that documented 20 years of his pa uh, patients, taking them through lives between lives. And it was pretty unanim unanimous from his subjects that the spirit enters the body in the womb. It actually goes in and out because there's not much to do there. It's boring. So the spirit just kind of goes in and out during this time according to his test, his uh, subjects, <laughs> but certainly around birth, they're all there. And this is when your unconscious begins to form in the womb. So if your mother experiences any sort of stress or trauma, worry, it's absorbed. This information is already getting programmed in the womb, in your unconscious. Now, your unconscious is formed from zero to seven years old. So these stages, as you are born, as you are a toddler, this is really, really, really important. This time, they say we're like a sponge absorbing. We're like in a hypnotic stage when our unconscious is being formed. Now, our, we're not sea turtles, are we? We are mammals and we cannot survive on our own outside the womb. Thanks, I'm reading some of your comments. Really interesting and love the combining. You love that book? Oh, I love it. I haven't read Destiny of Souls. Birth trauma, especially during immediate separation. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for that share. Okay, so we cannot survive outside the womb. We must have, be taken care of by our parents, the adults that are assigned to take care of us, our parents mostly. So that's when our unconscious needs to ensure that we survive by belonging to our family, our tribe. And what, how it does that. You see, when we look at this, this is a beautiful family of nurture and love, right? And our primitive unconscious brain takes it all in from the child's view. Of course, as the adult, 
we're adults now, we're going to view your child or a child as worthy and love them, right? As innocent. But the unconscious, because it needs to ensure you survive, so from a tiny little forming mind of you, you ensure to get the love and nurture and protection and shelter and sustenance. And what happens when we grow up? And our learning in our unconscious gets embedded and it repeats the patterns to ensure that we survive because we learned how to survive from zero to seven years old and then it gets locked in. We must repeat that pattern because it's survivable. Obviously, you're here, right? So then you repeated your patterns. This is called sabotage, right? <laughs> you repeated childhood patterns. And we spend our entire lives repeating them. Now, this is really the picture, don't we? Did you guys have this or did you have this? What did you have? Do you have these on the bottom or did you have only this? <laughs> That's a trick question. But what happens because we seek, seek the love and nurture, we develop core wounds. It's unintentional. Because maybe dad had a bad day and he told us off and we probably coded in like, oh my God, I am not worthy of dad's approval and love. I am not good enough. Or dad seems to do everything perfect and I keep making mistakes. I'm not perfect enough. Or mom, she has to tend to baby brother and uh, has no time for me, I must not be significant enough. Or mom and dad, they have so many other things to worry about. They keep telling me I look like that, you know, aunt this or or cousin that. I, I don't feel like I belong to this family. They keep telling me how different I am. Who feels like they have some of these wounds of not feeling like they're enough? Anyone? Anyone ever felt like you want to go for something, but you just don't feel like you're worthy enough or good enough? Who are my people pleasers here? Am I perfectionists? This gets locked in just from, it's called wounding by individuation. Carl Jung coined this term, basically. Yeah, we must belong. And if we don't belong or feel like we belong, we seek belonging our entire lives. It's the most important thing to us. But we literally spend our time trying to overcome these our entire lives to ensure that they're not true, what we believe unconsciously. So what happens is the unconscious is formed and it seeks to repeat those I'm not enough patterns, whatever you guys feel. And your conscious, your self-conscious wants to go for more satisfaction and less pain. It wants things. The unconscious also is, since it's programmed for survival, it runs the functions of your body. You're not thinking of your beating heart right now and air in your lungs, everything is happening for you by the unconscious. But clearly you're here, so it means your unconscious is doing its job. Even if you're sick, unhappy, frustrated, depressed, sad, you survived. If you had an unhappy childhood, happy childhood, it does not matter because the unconscious just cares that you survive. So it's did its job right, you're here, congratulate yourselves. It doesn't matter what you want consciously. It will always ensure that you repeat patterns to survive. So does, do you feel like you have an internal battle inside? You wanna go for something with your self-conscious because it goes for more quality of life, but then your unconscious says, you're not enough. You can't have that, you're not worthy of that. And so, it sends fear and says, no, go, don't, don't do that. It sends, it sends doubt. And then you don't go for your dreams. It says, you can't do that. It says you're an imposter. And that's what that is. It's not real. It's an unconscious program. It's not your fault. It's just a survival mechanism. So what do you do when you learn that mom and dad don't like it when you express anger? You're told it's not nice. And mom and dad show love when you're not when, when you're not mad. At least they leave you alone, right? At least you're not in trouble. If you're quiet or you don't say the wrong thing, otherwise you're shamed. Shame on you for thinking that. 
How dare you get angry at me when I work so hard for you to put food on the table? You don't appreciate all we do for you expressing your opinions. How grateful, how ungrateful, sorry. So we learn not to understand our, and process our emotions, but just shove them, suppress them until we find ourselves in this chronic state of stress and the emotions have nowhere to go. And we become this pressure cooker of feelings. And we're in a constant level of chronic fight or flight or freeze response. And we then grow up and it becomes our emotional set point. And we don't even realize that there's a different way to be. Who was just learned that you, it's not safe to express your feelings? or that everyone is more important and you come last, you're insignificant, you have no importance, you have no self-worth. What you have to say or think or do isn't as important as others. I feel like I've been stuck in a per perpetual loop. Yes, that's your unconscious protecting you, thinking it's doing you a favor. It's a constant inner battle is real. Always the outsider, so true. Now, so we suppress, repress, and hide our emotions, don't we? Who feels unsafe expressing their truth? Speaking out, speaking up. So getting back to, to this, right? When was the last time your doctor asked you? Human babies cannot survive outside the womb. It's a direct relationship between your immune system and your suppressed, repressed, stuck emotions. And remember, this is how it works. The conscious mind just wants more satisfaction and quality of life. This little iceberg tip right here, that's your self-conscious. It's not a very, it's like your desktop on your computer. It doesn't have a lot of space. But of course your unconscious is hidden from view. And it silently says, you're not worthy. So if your conscious says, I want to have great health and a better body. I want more money. I want loving relationships. I want to feel good. I want to be happy. Your unconscious says silently, you're not worthy of that. You're not capable. People that have that are good enough and you're not. So do better, just go work on bettering and perfecting yourself before you can have it. And then you'll finally have significance and feel like you belong. But if you listen to that and go and resolve all those beliefs about yourself, the unconscious also says, wait, that's not familiar. Therefore, we don't know if it's survivable. So you better stay the same because it's a far better option. Despite years of inner work, TB, you're exactly hit. You exactly hit the ball, the, the nail on the head here. It doesn't matter how much work is. You know why? <laughs> you want to get out of stress and overwhelm and you seek feeling good but you can't risk your well, not belonging. You're changing anything because we may not know it's survivable. But the good news, I'm going to show you how to break this cycle and we're going to run some frequencies. The great thing is that you are an energy being. Of course, you know this. That's why you're here. You're not just a brain. You're not just a body. You're an energy being. Your spirit or we can say higher consciousness, super consciousness, and you are here for expansion through experience. And your higher consciousness, which I call super conscious, does not judge you. It's been with you your entire, all your lifetimes, this lifetime and beyond. It's always present, but it just takes your instructions. We forgot that we were spirit. And now we must survive, right, in this human body. And this was by design. And we're all entering a new era, right? We know this of, of new consciousness. And more and more, as you notice, new like young children now 
remember who they really are. They remember that they are spirit. But most of us have forgotten for decades. And it's time to remember who we truly are, who's ready to step into wholeness, to step into their, their super consciousness and incorporate it fully into your three aspects, your conscious, subconscious or unconscious and super conscious, higher consciousness. And this is how it works. Imagine, this is a great metaphor to help you understand. So imagine your conscious mind is the captain of your ship and your crew is the unconscious beneath the deck. And the ship itself is your higher super conscious self. As the captain, you love to set sail to the land of good and plenty, don't you? Because, hey, the captain's job is to go for more quality of life, more satisfaction. And the unconscious crew looks at each other and says, good and plenty? I don't remember if that's survivable. Let me check my, my logs. I remember every time we went for good and plenty, we got told off, we got punished, or our family were persecuted for it. And besides, if you had that, it would mean that you no longer need your family. And who will you be? Who will you belong to? So uh, we don't think so. And the ship is just here to heed your request, your instructions. As the law of attraction says, ask and it is given, except you're asking with both your unconscious and conscious mind. And your unconscious doesn't know it's safe to have and survivable. It's also asking, and guess which one is a more powerful brain? Which part of your ship? That's right, it's the crew. And that's why you oscillate back and forth. And T TB says, despite in in years of intensive work, right? Because if you're choosing optimal health, I'm going to stop share. I'll draw some stuff on the board and then we'll do a meditation. Does that sound good, guys? Thanks for hanging with me. And I'll teach you the very basic of what I call the carrot system. The correct way to manifest. Thanks. So I call it the carrot system. Five-step system. Now, let's say you are choosing health. Health and vitality, right? That's what you would love to have. And right now you are, let's say future. In your, right now you are, what, how would you call that you're now? experience when it comes to health. You can plug anything here, by the way, you can pl plug money, you can, you know, plug relationships, whatever you want. What would you uh, call this? We can call it unhealthy. And this is for example only, I'm unhealthy, have cancer, overweight, disease, diagnosis. And we say, if I had better health and vitality, life will be greater than the now. Don't we believe that? Because right now I have this. And once I resolve all my problems, and that I am not good enough or worthy enough or that I'm an imposter or that I don't belong and all this will be resolved, I'll finally be able to be healthy. So what you're really saying is that your identity here and your identity here, this identity is going to be so much better and your identity here isn't enough. Is that really true? What happens is your focus, you know this, 
creates your reality. You think you're focusing over here, but you're actually focused on resolving your problem. So what do you get more of? Oh, I need to resolve my health. I'm going to take some supplements. I'm going to go to, I'm going to work out. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to drink celery juice. And then what happens is your unconscious says, no, you're not worthy of that. You don't belong over there. Come back over here. Because over here, it would mean that you're worthy enough. You're good enough. You belong enough. And obviously, this not enoughness and suppressed stuff and all that stuff, emotions, keep you stuck because they're still there, festering. So even if you get over here, did you get the source? Did you treat the source? Or are your emotions still stuck there? And you're like, positive thinking! But... What have you done? You haven't released any of this. So the first thing in the carrot system is you choose what you would love to have. You don't go, I'm trying to fix or resolve anything. Um, you know what I've noticed with people who have cancer, it's their entire focus. It becomes their entire life. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Ca it's anything. Like, hey, can you go and read a nice book? Can you watch a nice movie? Can you focus on anything? And you think that if you stop worrying about cancer, it will somehow win. But what you're doing is giving all your power to cancer. And what you resist, who can finish that sentence for me? What you resist persists. Is this session going to talk about cancer? This session talks about how cancer can be created. I think you saw that presentation. And when I do the meditation, I address suppress, repress, stuck emotions and your body systems, whether it's cancer or not. Because if, like I said, is the focus only on cancer, you're just going to create more cancer. Sorry, what you resist persists and what you focus on grows. This is, this is um, to manifest health, whether you have cancer, whether you have anything, stress, anything. You're just creating the right conditions in your body. Your body will do the rest, like a cut. Of course, it's a different thing. I don't want to undermine it, but it's a very simplified version. What we're doing is creating the right conditions for your body to heal. Okay. So you choose health and you teach your unconscious what it would feel like. So let's start the exercise. I'm not going to do the meditation. This is just the prep. Thank you, Jason. Close your eyes, please. And I want you to not go, I choose to overcome or heal my cancer or my health or anything. I choose health and vitality. Do you see the difference in the focus and energy in those two statements? I choose health and vitality. Go to a place in time where you know what it feels like, whether it's in the past or the future or parts of you. Isn't it true that a big percentage of your body is healthy? Like you're here. So there's something going on in your body that's enabling you. You're surviving. There's a lot going on in your body that is healthy. Can we agree with that? Can we focus on the parts that are healthy? Your heart is beating, your lungs are breathing. You're here. Can we focus and send gratitude to all the amazing miracles happening in your body right now? Whether you have a label or a diagnosis or anything, there are amazing miracles happening. So we focus on them and we grow them. So go ahead and just take some breaths with me and just take distractions away and just relax and just choose health and vitality. You can claim it. You can say it out loud. I choose health and vitality. I choose it. I, I'm a creator. Where my focus goes, I create. 
and just notice a time and a place where you feel healthy and vital. What would you do with all your health and vitality? What sort of things would you love to do? And it's not about the health and vitality because our body supports us in doing what we love. So what sort of things do you love to do? What sort of things do you love to do with your healthy and vital body? Imagine yourself doing that now because you know the unconscious doesn't know if you're imagining it or experiencing it. It does not know the difference. It sends the correct single signals to the rest of your body as if it's true. Who likes that? Let's just be there and do that. Isn't that a cool thing? Sends the correct instructions. So just imagine and allow your body to receive and your unconscious to receive those good feelings. So compared to that, we so choose, align. We just aligned our emotions with our end result of what we would love to have. And now it's time to release the resistance that are in the way. Let's unpack. And while I unpack it, I'm gonna lower my desk here so I can sit and do the thing so I don't fall over when I have my eyes closed and meditating. So I wanna ask you what you believe is in the way. Because the truth is, I want, you know, if you had that health and vitality, if you had it right now, this second, if I snap my fingers and you had it, are you ready to receive it? Will you just take it and, and like really imagine that it's true right now? Would you be able to receive it without like having a little freak out first? Because we're so used to struggling and not deserving. Is it true? It's like people say they want a lot of money. They want a lot of money. But until they shift their identity to be it before they see it, they just haven't coded. They just haven't released the identity that grew up broke. So when they win the lottery and they have a bunch of money, their broke identity that's coded into their unconscious to belong to their family just codes in more brokenness. All right, so what do you believe is there? You said you're ready? Who said they're ready? So true. You're ready. What do you stand to lose? Do you stand to lose anything? Do you lose your belonging to your family if you were fully healthy, if you had that body type? What do you stand to lose? If you could just have it in this moment, does any kind of fear pop up a little bit? Does it feel like you deserve it? Of course you do. I'm just wondering what your unconscious thinks, right? You're a pure creative spirit in a human body. Of course you deserve it. Fearful that it might not be true or last. Yeah, see, we have reservations. And so we're holding, you know, a belief system that we're not fully aligned, are we? BS, belief system. So if you had what you love, what would that mean? Does that mean you're enough? And do you believe you're enough fully? I mean, really ask yourself these questions because those unconscious, not enoughness, are what's keeping you stuck and oscillating. And in the meditation we're about to do with these frequencies, we're going to release some of that. And that's why I'm asking you these important questions, because what I really want you to do is to connect with the truth. What are you ready to release and let go of? What story? What story? I choose the end result of health and vitality, but what's in the way? We release that. And then action is the highest form in, of communication to your higher consciousness that lets you know that it's true. And then the transformation, you can't see that, can you? The transformation comes last. It shows you that you are it. So you have to be the same identity in ma manifestation. You have to be this identity already here. You have to be this you. So if this you is 
happy and excited and focuses on things they love, you have to be that. Now, is this you over here? Are they worried and, and in fear? Then you got to be this you now. That's how you manifest. You become a vibrational match to this. Isn't everything frequency and vibration? Who wants to fully align vibrationally with who they're becoming that already has it? Okay. So what I'll do, I'm going to do some frequencies Some for uh, that I selected intuitively for this session that higher consciousness said I should do, which is uh, for your immune system, for well-being, for uh, health, wealth, and wisdom, and manifestation amplifier. And a lot of these have to do with your emotions. Raise your frequency and love yourself. Self-love is so huge. Yeah, because we're taught that we're not worthy of self-love. Okay, so the meditation is going to go for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And uh, I just, you just choose to receive it for the highest good. And it's a closed eye process, but it's passive. There's not much you have to do. Can I do a few at once? I'm doing all of you at once. Does that, make, does that answer your question? Remember that healing means wholeness with pure intentions. Yes. And you were always whole. You just simply forgot by design. And so to have a human experience, you forgot, but you know, to, but you're here to expand consciousness. It's not right, wrong, good, or bad. So you simply choose to align with your higher consciousness to work together and focus on this creative structure, not a problem-based focus meaning there's nothing to heal. There's just creating the right conditions by letting go of what no longer serves you. Different frequencies at once. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a frequency um, like um, album I created. And I created them from the higher quantum uh, programs and from even inner circle, a couple of inner circle ones for those who want to experience them. And what happens is, is that's what I was saying in the beginning that it also requires the right mindset and the right mindset isn't about positive thinking. It's about knowing you're whole and complete and perfect as you are. Aren't there people who have a life they love and all this stuff and they're like overweight or, you know, have this or that or have less money or right. And they're just going to do their thing. So you don't have to be enough first. Okay. I'm going to do this. You're just going to close your eyes and just choose to receive it. I'll talk to your higher consciousness like a person. And I'll say, you know, treat that event, treat that. It's just intuitive. And I just use the frequency. So just choose to receive and, and choose. It's all for the highest good. And it's, it's, yeah, I'll just share my screen again. And because I made a pretty picture for you. <laughs> what do you guys think of this isn't that cool all right i'll turn this up now you do not have to hear the frequencies i'm just sending them to you okay i'm going to send these frequencies over the ether all right everyone comfortable closing their eyes we'll just get started so just take some deep breaths and just sit comfortably. You're not required to lie down. I actually prefer that you don't lie down because then, you know, you can fall asleep and kind of miss. It's okay. It'll still work if you fall asleep. It's okay. It's a flower of life. So be, just find a quiet place, lie down, and just choose to receive it. Closing your eyes and listen passively. Let's take some deep breaths. I just want you to release the day, the morning, wherever you are in the world. Relax your shoulders. I want you, everyone, to take a nice deep breath into their heart. Like your heart is your source of air, source of everything, source of life. Just choose to expand your heart. There you go. And then you can breathe however you want. Just allow your body to relax with each breath. 
I'm not strict of how you sit or do. It works just the same. <laughs> so just center yourself and connect to the present moment. And we're all present here while relaxing your face muscles, your jaw, your eye sockets. Feel your feet heavy on the floor if you're seated and you're sinking comfortably into the cushion and your chair. And just breathe easily, however you want it to be, no rules. I want you to visualize that radiant light that you are, you are mostly higher consciousness, your divine source of infinite love and healing energy. So as you breathe in, imagine this light descending down towards you and enveloping you in this warm, loving glow and just feel that universal life force through the crown of your head, filling you with a sense of peace and connection and love, pure love of your highest consciousness, your super conscious. So I'm sending you these frequencies now. And as you're being treated, your highest good, everything is for the highest good and the highest good of the collective. Choosing this healing session, just quantum session to get the most out of this and choosing a healthy, fit, vital body. We're going to just apply source key codes to your body. Everyone here, everyone in replay, wherever needed, please treat now. You might feel energy, you might feel tingling, you might feel nothing. There's nothing to do but just sit and listen passively. Treating the source. Treat all priorities as needed. Treat with key codes. And treat all body systems as needed in the perfect way and order. I'm going to treat the circulatory system as needed, the nervous system as needed, the skeletal system as needed, the respiratory system as needed, the digestive system as needed, and the muscular system as needed. Treat all related organs and all related body system Treat all the emotions, the suppressed, stuck, suppressed emotions, and treat as needed in a perfect way and order. Treat fight, flight, freeze response system, please. Treat and balance all immune system. Balance and treat the immune system to restore to homeostasis as needed. Treat all immune function as needed. Please treat pain as needed using the pain key codes, please. And ensure the frequencies go to each person exactly where needed, as needed. Thank you. Let's treat all the chakras, treat the root, the solar plexus, Let's treat the sacral, please, solar plexus, heart, throat. Third eye, brown. Continue with pinkies as needed. Treat meridians. Treat meridians around the hip area. 
and the feet. Thank you. Doing great. Treating all emotions, please, that are not aligned and causing any resistance to the immune system or resistance to health and vitality now. Treat all emotions, past, present, future. Treat the emotion of sorrow. Treat also guilt, shame. Treat rage and anger. Treat suppressed anger and rage, please. Treat the heart center and lungs and also treat the emotion of grief. Treat the emotion of terror. Treat panic. Treat helplessness. Treat the fear of not being needed. Treat all fears and doubts and worries. Thank you. And flip them to confidence, self-love, inner knowing and trust. Treat any, I'm not enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not good enough. I don't belong enough. Significant, safe, perfect. Treat any, I'm not enough and flip them. I'm not capable. Flip them to I'm fully enough. Treat I'm not healthy enough. Treat fear of losing belonging, fear of rejection. Treat all part personalities and identities, including your inner child. Treat the incident around the time of the womb. Treat the incident around the time of birth and treat as needed. Thank you. Treat agreements and contracts as needed, that are not aligned for the highest good with this choice. Please treat DNA, thank you. I want to treat family entanglements, family rules, and ancestral wounding, please. Thank you. Treat suffering contracts, Treat all levels of unworthiness. I want to treat events. Treat trigger and trauma events. Treat collective family trauma events. You guys are doing great. A lot is being moving through the field right now. Superconscious treat health patterns, please. Thank you. I want to treat broken agreements as well. Broken agreements with the world. Thanks. I'm 
Let me treat the um, all the systems. We treated immune system. Let's do muscular system. Intergermitary system, skeletal system, endocrine system, nervous system, circulatory system, respiratory, digestive. Treat the heart, heart gut, brain connection. Thank you. Excretory system. Treat DNA in the perfect way and order as needed. And let's align with the highest vibration of health and vitality. And let's see this true identity that you're becoming, the health and vitality you, connecting with that vitality and healthy body, healthy and vital emotion, just being whole and complete. Choosing to align your current identity with this frequency and vibration, please, as needed. Thank you. Find the source event that created resistance. Thank you. Treat it in the perfect way and order, as well as all subsequent events that reinforced the condition. Treat the victim identity. Treat the people pleaser. Treat the perfectionist. Treat the fixer identity. You guys are doing great. Treat the heart again. Treat the thyroid area, the thymus, the neck. Treat the throat chakra and treat the fear of being seen, fear of success. Fear of failure, fear of loss, fear of rejection. Treat as needed and flip it. I am enough in all ways. I am healthy enough. I am perfect and whole now. Align again more, even more so with this frequency as needed. Thank you. Want to treat the emotion of forgiveness? Please just treat as needed and apply the forgiveness key codes wherever in the body. Thank you. But also the emotion of resentment. Resentment. So we're gonna just treat any any foreign unwanted cells, toxins, release toxins ever so gently. Find those foreign cells, those cancer cells, those those invaders that are not aligned with this choice of health and vitality and treat. Treat the source, treat all ever so gently and easily and eliminate, and detoxify and forgive and transform us to this new identity of health and vitality. The highest good. Take some breaths and align with this identity. Thank you. We're going to now just breathe through just a little bit, let the dust settle. We're not done yet. I have to ground it. Oh, this is just. Great. 
hit the throat again and just align with self-love, align with safe to hear my truth or speak out and treat that heart center again, upper chest and lungs. <laughs> That's better. And ground and anchor this you new know, health and vitality identity that we are fully aligned back into the matrix of the universe, including everything we treated here today across all memories and timelines and ego states. And when you're ready, You can open your eyes slowly, wingle, wing, wingle, wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit. Take some breaths. We're still receiving one more frequency of our manifestation amplifier, flower living. Yeah. And just take your time. Take your time opening your eyes. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I would just love to know how you feel, how that was for you. Feel it in my front head. How does that feel in your front head? You felt some energy there. If you think about your healthy and vital body or feeling more centered in your body, top of your head is tingling. Yes. Thanks. How is it feeling? If anyone's pain uh, lessened, anxieties, notice any fear, anxiety, stress level, did anything shift there? Fantastic. Good timing. This popped up in my email. Feeling the energy vibrating. Thanks for the meditation. Felt good on my gut. Good, Fernando. Thanks, Simone. I felt calm, relaxed, excited. Your temples feeling more grind, grounded and full of energy. Beautiful. Thank you. Tingling in my heart and top of head. I'm outside and the crickets, birds and frogs got very loud. Well, I'm glad they could enjoy, join us. What frequency did you play? I played Immune Boost Max, All Purpose Healing, uh, Health, Wealth, Wisdom, Manifestation, Meditation, Amplifier. And some of those are higher quantum and uh, inner circle. Boy, I love those. And uh, and also, I will open the room for questions. Feel the energy middle of my forehead. And really, it's about your identity. Remember, we talked about you have to be it to see it. You have to be the you over here, but over here. I just want you to notice if you feel like you are more that you. Because that you is the one that creates the right conditions for health, okay? And um, I just want to make sure you can find me. My name is Galit Rubin. If you want to reach out to me in the future, but we're hoping to uh, get more information here. Best selling frequencies. Thank you for the help. And... I'll also put that, uh, I, I'll put my email if you guys want to grab it too. And I would love to open up for any questions, any feedback, anything I can support you with in terms of questions. Help, uh, just if you want to do the raise hand, I'll find you. I'll uh, invite you to ask. Felt it at the top of your head and and face. Enhance my new view of myself. Oh, I love that. Thank you, James. Great share. And thanks for, oh, did I type? I think I, I didn't realize we can type into everyone now. Everyone, I missed that. So I'm going to put in my email again. Just grab it if you'd like to reach out. And then I can help you with those frequencies. Um, I can list them for you, and I'm sure they can get you those frequency uh, list as well. Has anyone's mood changed? I love that you just like enjoy the meditation. You're like, no questions. 
All good. We got the cancer frequency. Yes, it's on sale now. So, and I will say, I want to show you my system. I got the big kahunas here, the max, because, you know, I use this with my practice. You're comfortable? Did anyone have pain go away? Anyone pain lessen? Would love to know how you felt in your body that's better than before. Your outlook, your mood, just anything you can share. How do you do remote aspect? I, I send them intuitively, Jill. Thank you. And I'd love to teach you. Who would like to learn this? Who would like to learn how, how to do some of this? Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully we'll do this again. You have quite yes, Gabriel. You have a question. Go ahead. Um, oh, I see a Q and A. Gabriella, go ahead and unmute. Yes. Hello. You. Hold on. Let me just see. I gotta unpin me so I can see if I can see you. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Gabriella. Thank you. Um, uh, I don't have chicol yet, but uh, I have uh, plants. Uh, uh, to have an, an uh, even as practitioner, uh, there is a, a way to learn how to use it as well. I have a question: What kind of program may I use? Uh, I have a German Shepherd dog. Uh, she is almost uh, fourteen years, uh, and I discovered uh, little bumps at her at her uh, chest in her uh, belly, uh, and. Uh, what kind of program I can use to help her? I don't get that it's cancer. Uh, probably not. Uh, she, yeah. she uh, I have a practitioner who is uh, using uh, Oberon frequency treatment. Uh, and uh, she doesn't... Uh, uh, she's like told soft? that... Soft and like it bumps. Probably like a. Is it hard? It. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I can feel uh, that some like a, a round uh, kind of stuff uh, at her uh, breast. One of around her breast. Oh, okay. And uh, I don't know uh, what is it. Uh, she has never had this kind of problem during her entire life. So I don't know what is it. And why? It could just, you know, older dogs do get fatty tumors as well, but it doesn't sound dangerous. And uh, okay. it doesn't sound dangerous. You don't need to have it removed, I don't believe. And uh, really, there probably are frequencies we'd have to kind of go through and, and do it like a session or not a session, but like a, you know, it would, it would have to, it might take a little time to find the right thing, but I know that there's pet frequencies now so you might want to look at those yeah, it, it, that are, uh, yeah true connie you're right connie said connie reminded me of course so there are rife and i can actually see if i can pick one thank you i have uh, i have the of any kind app on here, my phone here. tumor no it's not that one it's tumor, it's benign tumor. I would do tumor benign. Okay. What do you think, Connie? Right? Connie is, is also one of our healer coaches. Thank you, Connie. Um, yeah, I get benign and the right benign tumor. It's benign. Uh, this is okay. my opinion, Connie. Sorry, <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the Thanks for the if, question. If I have, uh, if I uh, purchase the 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 single one, the nano uh, chicol, and uh, I have the app uh, on my uh, iPhone, uh, so I can run these uh, frequencies. Yeah, uh, as long as uh, it's available. So I think Simon, is that you who is in Chi Life? Uh, if you could just let us know. 
Oh, you and you just put this only for hosts and panelists. Let me just copy this. Uh, there's the pet one. And then can we find the rife malignant? That's a, is that available on the nano? I am not, I don't know exactly if it is. So we'll have to find out for you. You may okay. have to just maybe upgrade maybe to a certain program to have that, but I do get that a benign tumor um, rife would be good for her. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see, I yeah. can add the chat. Yeah. Oh, that is, I haven't seen that this uh, top 27 pet protocols. Oh, that's wonderful. So Gabriel uh, says that I have the mini and I need to buy frequency separately. Yeah, it depends what program you have. Obviously, if you get like a bigger system, you're going to have more frequencies. And if yeah. you smaller one, then you just what... add them as needed, like a la carte, which makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hope, hope Do you, you have... have uh... Do you have session uh, like uh, we've done this meditation to send uh, this kind, some kind of frequencies uh, to dogs? Yeah, you're welcome to reach out to me. What um, if you have my info? You're welcome to reach out separately. We really want to focus, of of course, we we really want to focus on the chi coil system uh, for for this session and just to allow yeah. you to experience all the different things you can do with it. But if you want to reach out to me, you're welcome to. Okay, okay, thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Any more Chi Coil uh, questions or anything else you, you would like to learn more about? I must attend my grandchildren. <laughs> Thanks for, for being with us. Love and blessings. You're welcome, Pandori. Can't wait to buy and you share my new chi curl system. I love, I would love to hear how it goes. That's wonderful. As David said, he said, change your frequency, change the world. And that is the truth. And just again, um, that's my name. And you have my info. And we thank you so much. Anyone else have any more comments? I we thank you for really uh, in uh, participating. And if you want to learn more and work with us more on being able to uh, do processes for your own clients, for yourself, continue to grow and expand your consciousness through these frequencies, uh, they're, they're just a blessing. And I'm so excited that I'm able to use them. So I will say thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye.